Is it possible to upgrade your old PC without breaking the bank? Maybe. Ugh. This is an old gaming computer. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace an old motherboard and CPU with a brand new gaming motherboard and a brand new CPU. And this PC upgrade will cost less than $400. So we'll go from this to this. Let's get started. And remember, always power down your computer, turn off your power supply, and unplug the power cord before opening the computer. And to prevent electrostatic discharge, always use anti-static mats and or anti-static gloves. So first, remove the GPU. And then unplug all fans and power cables from the motherboard, including the SATA connections. So let's talk about the hardware we chose for this upgrade and the reasons why we chose it. This is the MPG. Z490 Gaming Plus from MSI. This motherboard supports the 10th and 11th gen Intel processors with the LGA 1200 socket. And the processor we chose was the 10th gen Core i7. And the main reasons we chose this motherboard and CPU was price and compatibility. We got a fantastic deal on both of these components. The Z490 was $139.99 and the 10th gen Core i7 was 32803. We also got a flash sale discount of $68.50, which put this motherboard CPU combo under $400 before taxes. And one more thing, this motherboard is compatible with our DDR4 RAM. After disconnecting all the cables, remove all the screws that connect the motherboard to the PC case. Make sure to save all nine screws. You're gonna use them for the new motherboard installation. Then we can remove the old motherboard and we'll also remove the IO shield. The Z490 already has an IO shield that's pre-installed. Then next, remove the old CPU fan and we'll also remove the old thermal paste from the fan. And then we'll remove all four RAM sticks and we'll also remove the NVMe SSD. All of these components will go into the new motherboard. Now we'll install the i7 into the Z490. Simply line up the arrow from the chip with the arrow on the motherboard, drop in the chip, and secure it with the fastener. And now we're gonna add a generous amount of thermal paste to the top of the CPU. And X marks the spot, perfect. And now we can install the CPU fan. The four connections are four push tabs. And then turn to the right to lock it in. And guys, if you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and share it and if you're not subscribed yet, please do so, it's completely free. Now plug in the CPU fan. The CPU fan connector is labeled on the motherboard. And now we're gonna add all four RAM sticks. They simply snap in. And now it's time to install the motherboard. Before we install the motherboard into this PC, we need to clean the PC case thoroughly. So we'll go out to our garage and blow out all the dust. And a clean computer runs better, and runs less hot. The Z490 connects to the PC case with nine screws. And make sure to have all the standoffs connected correctly. There needs to be nine standoffs connected to the PC case. The motherboard connects to the nine standoffs with the nine screws. And do not over tighten these screws. They should be snug, but not too tight. After installing the motherboard, connect all power cables, fans, and SATA connections. So whether you're gonna do an Intel or AMD budget upgrade, upgrading your motherboard and CPU can make a huge difference, especially with speed and performance. If your gaming PC is over five years old, you can easily upgrade to some budget components. Just make sure the motherboard and the CPU that you pick are compatible. They have to be the same brand like Intel or AMD, and it has to be the same socket and chipset. And it's also a good idea to make sure your RAM is compatible with the new motherboard. This will save you a lot of money. And now we'll install the NVMe SSD into the M.2 slot. One of the benefits of this motherboard is that it includes a heat shield for the NVMe SSD. It attaches with two screws. Easy. And now it's time to install the GPU. We have an RTX 2060 Super. Our main goal for this motherboard is to be able to run Fortnite at 240 FPS while keeping our computer nice and cool. So if we can achieve both of those things, it'll be a complete success. 
and we'll do this for under $400. And I cleaned that power supply filter, nice and clean. So now my son will attach the left side panel to the PC, and then we'll get it all set up in the game room. We'll get everything plugged in. And just a heads up, we're not going to do a clean Windows install for this computer. Instead, we're going to use a Samsung SSD with a Windows operating system already on it. So this motherboard will not boot into Windows until we change one important setting. So go to Advanced Settings and BIOS. By default, the motherboard is set to UEFI. We need to change UEFI to CSM, which stands for Compatibility Support Module. Then hit Save and Exit. Now Windows will launch. Easy. And now we've just upgraded our old gaming PC. We have a new gaming motherboard with a new CPU with 8 cores. All under $400. And my son can run Fortnite at 240 frames per second with no lag. And with this motherboard, we have plenty of room to grow. We can add up to 128 gigs of RAM, or an Intel i9 11th gen CPU. And this motherboard even has two M.2 slots. So I can add a second NVMe SSD. This motherboard and CPU combination works fantastic and I highly recommend it, especially on a budget upgrade. So guys, make sure to give a thumbs up and share this video. And if you love this video, hit subscribe. It's free. You guys are awesome and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.